Hello there everybody, my name is Michael, and I am playing Professor Layton and the Last Spectre. We found out all sorts of interesting information about Bard Manor and Ariana and the pipes and things like that. Chapter 9, the Spectre becomes clear, it's all very exciting. However, we are not going to get to any of that in this video. You see, we just started Chapter 9, right? Which means there are a bunch of brand new puzzles for us to solve. 29 puzzles, in fact, so in this video and in the next video, I will solve all 29 puzzles. If you want to continue with the plot, skip ahead to video number 33. In video 33, we'll continue with the plot, but for now, we're gonna solve puzzles. Puzzle number 97, how many friends? Okay, so girl is sharing chocolates with her friends. She gives three chocolates to everybody, and there are six left over. If she tries to give five chocolates to everybody, she's going to be short by six chocolates. So, how many friends are coming to the party? This is sort of a trick puzzle because the girl gives chocolates to herself, but she doesn't include herself on the list of friends. So there are five friends and 24 chocolates. I think this is right. I knew I could do it. Alrighty, so Luke has made a brand new friend. Puzzle number 98, symbol code. Which uh, symbol goes next on the piece of paper? So here's the paper, just take a look at the symbols, see if you can figure out the pattern. Zero, one, two, three, four, obviously five is next, but what do those numbers refer to? Those numbers refer to the end, uh, uh, the number of endpoints in the symbols. So our answer is D, which has five different endpoints. It's a great puzzle, Tweeds. Puzzle number 99, a watched pot. Which pot is the 915 pot? Alright, 915 pot. I don't see anything which looks like the 915 pot. I think this is one of those puzzles where I just guessed at the answer. In any case, the answer is D, because the decoration on that pot sort of looks like 915. Kind of. Not really. Must be met directly. Okay, let's see what their explanation is. No puzzle is without an answer. 
Alright, so the explanation is that it sort of looks like 2115, which is 915 on a 24 hour clock. I don't see how the decoration looks anything like 2115, however. Yeah, really, that doesn't look anything like 915 or 2115. Sometimes, I don't understand these puzzles. I'm sorry, Professor Layton. I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about there. Okay, okay, okay. More puzzles. Do do do. These guys don't have puzzles, do they? They don't. All right. Wait, is he talking to Emmy? He is flirting with Emmy. Seriously, Hugo? Yeah, Hugo, you can't make up your own puzzles. I'm sorry, this is not gonna work. Puzzle number 100, Cat Catcher. We have a cat which is running all over town. And we want to be one square away from the cat after three moves. Alright, so I'm at A, and the cat is at B, and I want to be right next to the cat after three moves. So after three moves, the cat is going to go one, two, three, or maybe one, two, three, or maybe one, two, three, or one, two, three. Do you guys sort of see the pattern there? The pattern is that... If I end up on A after three moves, I will always, always be next to the cat. So I'm going to have to do something like this. I'll go to E to F to A, or F to E to A. In any case, I want to end up on A on my third turn so I can catch the cat on turn number four. I think I've got this one. You can't let a puzzle intimidate you. You know, Hugo, I have a hard time believing this is the first time a lady has rejected your offer to go out on a date. Yeah, let's just avoid this person in the future. Puzzle number 101, square goldfish. You want to cut the toy into four pieces, which can be formed into a square. Alrighty, four pieces, which make a perfect square. It's actually simpler than you think. You just make an X over the circular part of the fish, and that's the solution. How about this? I knew I could do it!
Alrighty, next puzzle, next puzzle. In case you can't tell, I'm solving the puzzles in numerical order. So we had 98, then 99, then 100, then 101. Next we're gonna have 102, right over here. Puzzle number 102, Window Panes. Okay, the window was broken and one person picked up three pieces. And the friends each picked up three more pieces than the person before them. And in the end, there were still three fragments on the floor. Alright, so this puzzle is basically just math. This person picks up three pieces. This person picks up six. This person picks up nine. Um... The third friend gets 12, and we have three pieces left over, so you just want to add all of those numbers to get 33. This took some creative thinking. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. Puzzle number 103, Cogs and Pulleys. Okay, we have a bunch of cogs and wheels. So, if you turn the crank in the bottom right clockwise, as indicated by the arrow, is the thing on the left going to go up, or is it going to go down? It's going to go up. Okay, we have an episode off tempo. Okay, um, let's watch this episode. Hey, Clarence, quit napping. Otherwise, you should be taking naps outside. Okay, so it looks like Clarence has a little bit of a crush on Dominica. Okay, <laughs> whatever, let's just solve another puzzle. I swear, only one or two of those episodes so far have actually been very interesting. Most of them have just been strange. Puzzle number 104, Many to Cross. Now A crosses every single bridge in town, and then she stops. Where is she going to stop? Alright, so here is the map to give you an idea. She starts at A and crosses every single bridge in town. 
and logically, you have to conclude that she is going to stop at 7, which is the only island with an odd number of bridges connected to it. You know, besides for Island A. A challenging puzzle, to be sure. No puzzle is without an answer. Puzzle number 105, Bouquet Giveaway. So we have a girl who has a lot of flowers. So whenever she meets a person, she gives them one flower and then half of all the remaining flowers. After meeting five people, she only has one flower left, so you need to work backwards and figure out how many flowers were in the bunch to begin with. So when you do the math and work backwards, she ends up with one flower, which means when she met the fifth person, she had three flowers. So she had seven flowers when meeting person number four. Fifteen when meeting person number three. Just continue that pattern. It's, it's basically double plus one, right? So thirty-one with person number two, and sixty-three when meeting person number one. So that's your answer. Sixty-three flowers. Some puzzles must be met directly. I love the thrill of a good solution. Okay, we've still got a lot of puzzles to solve before the end of this video. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. We're not solving Bobby's puzzle. Whoa, uh oh, uh-oh, big mistake. Big mistake, everybody. I said I was going to solve the puzzles in numerical order. Which means now we're going to solve Joseph's puzzle. Puzzle number 107, how many rooms? Okay, we have the picture of the hotel, and guest rooms have two windows each. And from the second floor upwards, every single room is a guest room. So this is relatively simple. You just need to figure out how many rooms are inside the hotel. Or rather, you need to figure out how many windows are inside the hotel. And then just divide it by two, because each set of two windows equals one room. Okay, so these floors, these floors all have 16 windows each, and these floors all have eight windows each. So all together, we have 80 windows, right? So 80 divided by two is 40, therefore we have 40 guest rooms in the hotel. This took some creative thinking. No puzzle is without an answer. Okay, so now we can solve Bobby's puzzle. Puzzle number 108, Pendant, Pensions. Okay, we have a couple of pendants. 
Let me see, the quantity of one type of crystal can be doubled to equal the combined quantity of the other crystals. So let me try to demonstrate this. Number C has six different red jewels, and I believe it has five of the blue jewels and seven of the white jewels. So six times two is twelve, which is five plus seven. So your answer is C. Some puzzles must be met directly. A gentleman leaves no puzzle undone. Now this is the final location for the boatman. Okay, so we have all seven piers unlocked. All right. Puzzle number 106, Apple Bounce. You want to make the apple bounce on the trampoline. So it's something like this. You, you make a trampoline, and then you just drop the apple on the trampoline. And you're trying to get it to bounce uh, into the basket. That looked kind of good, actually. There, let's try that like this. Oh, oh what? What was that? Okay, hey, there you go. That's your solution. Creative thinking. No puzzle is without an answer. Oh, that was puzzle number 106. Oh, oh, looks like I did not solve the puzzles in numerical order then. Oh well. Yes, a true gentleman listens to his mother. D does Professor Layton ever tell his mother about these dangerous adventures he goes on? I don't think Mrs. Layton would approve. Herschel, you should stay at home. You shouldn't be going on these dangerous adventures. You're going to be killed someday. Yes, mother. Why don't we have an episode like that? Instead of the boring episodes, let's have an episode where Professor Layton gets chewed out by his mother. Puzzle number 111, Empty Seats. Okay, uh, five couples, but all of the women are, well, not in the picture. Your goal is to read all the clues and figure out which wives go where. Okay, so nobody's sitting next to their spouse, or opposite of their spouse, and A and B are on opposite sides of the table. So let me see. Um, A and B are on opposite sides of the table, and B's spouse can't be at 4 or 5, so B is somewhere here. B is on the left-hand side which means A, being on the opposite side of B, is on the right-hand side, but A can't be in 4. So A is over here at 5, and B is somewhere here. B is either 1 or 3, because B is not opposite of her husband. So... I don't know. You, you, you go through um, the puzzle like that until you finally figure out that C 
wife C has to be here in position number two. I'll handle this one, Professor. I did it, Professor. Alrighty, I think we have two more puzzles before the end of the video. One is at the library. Puzzle number 109, an orderly bookcase. You want to rearrange the books in the bookcase so all five rows look exactly the same. Okay, so this is going to be move number one because that makes the top three rows the same. Let me see, move number two, now the top four rows are the same. And I guess to make the final row like the other ones, I'm just going to have to move the red one right over here. I think this is right. That puzzle wasn't so hard. Okay, yeah, one more puzzle, one more puzzle, and we're at the end of this long, long video. Of course, the next video is going to be rather long as well, but still. We've got a puzzle from old Thomas to turn that frown upside down. Puzzle number 110, Jumpin' Marbles. This is another puzzle where you have to clear the board of all the marbles, except for one. Now, you'll probably notice that the board is symmetrical along this line. That is, the top half is the same as the bottom half, just rotated 180 degrees. So I'm going to have to make a bunch of symmetrical moves. For example, I move this one up. This one over here in the uh, corner on the bottom, I move that up. And so, the one that's in the corner on the top, I'm going to move that down. That makes sense, right? Up, and then down. Okay, so, let me see. For the bottom, I'm going to move this one uh, up, and then left. So for the top, I'm going to move this one down, and then right. Okay, I'll move this one right to the middle. Move this one left to the middle. Do, 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 do. Move this up, move this down. Do, 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 do. Okay, left, and then up, right. And then this is where I'm going to have to stop following those symmetrical rules and just finish the puzzle like this. This is what I've come up with. I knew I could do it. Yeah, uh, is Clark going to do anything about the fact that Chief Jakes just arrested Professor Layton? Do you think the mayor would actually do something about the fact that his son and Professor Layton were thrown in jail? I don't know, Mayor Triton, what, I don't know what he's thinking, to be quite honest. In any case, it's the end of the video, everybody!